The backward governor of California, Nimrod Newsom, quick to, sp to spit on the Texas announcement, tweeting, absolutely reckless. Looks like someone's trying to tweet their way out of a recall. Here with me now, California Republican Congressman, he would be a fine candidate for governor, Tom McClintock. He ran in 2003 to uh, unseat Gray Davis. He should have won, but uh, idiots in California elected Arnold Schwarzenegger instead. That was a bad move. Uh, is it a good move by Texas and Mississippi congressmen? Well, of course it is, but I suppose I should probably address that with my, <laughs> my mask, which is very popular in California these days. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Gavin Newsom is just doing whatever he can to get out of that hole, but he just uh, he's just shoveling himself deeper and deeper every day. Have the lockdowns well, worked another, in California? I was going to say another 100,000 signatures on the recall petition, and I think we'll probably see California opening up. No, the, 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 all these mandates from these lockdown leftists have been, have been a, a, a tremendous disaster. California actually saw the biggest surge of COVID infections only after months of severely enforced mask and, and lockdown mandates. Our mortality rate in California is now greater than that of Sweden that had no lockdowns, no mask mandates, no school closures, even though Sweden's population is older and, and is at greater risk. So what will it take? You think, so right now they have a little over 1.8 million signatures to get the recall on the ballot. You need 1.5 million. And uh, they're, they're, they want to pad it by 500,000 just to make sure there are no shenanigans to get a bunch of those names thrown out. So what will be Newsom's act of desperation? Well, I, that remains to be seen. I think it will qualify. Again, the, the, the experience in 2003 was uh, the closer they got to their goal, uh, the faster the momentum came in, the more the signatures that came in. Uh, how he's going to react to that, uh, I don't know. But I think the first thing he ought to do is apologize to the people of California. I mean, the, 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 the Wall Street Journal pointed out that there are 192,000 excess deaths that cannot be explained in the United States by COVID and normal mortality combined, 192,000. I'm afraid that's the butcher's bill for the increased suicides, uh, domestic homicides, uh, drug abuse deaths, alcohol abuse deaths, uh, deferred uh, health screenings, uh, delayed health treatments. All of these things that these lockdown leftists uh, uh, unleashed, and again, for no, for, for, for they're not saving any lives. We're seeing study after study; they're seeing no statistical difference in the transmission of this virus between those jurisdictions that lock down and those that don't. So I would think that the the, the very first thing the governor ought to do is say, "I'm sorry for my stupidity." Yes, because all these businesses, business owners, and parents are looking at the governor going, what have you done to us? What have you done to our families, to our livelihoods? I was talking about it last night on the show in my monologue that half the businesses that have closed so far during the pandemic, they'll never reopen. And it's the middle class has been absolutely devastated. The rich have done very well. California's revenues are actually doing very well because the rich have, have, have enjoyed this a lot. It's the middle class that's been absolutely devastated. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's interesting when you've seen periods like this in past history, it, it, it takes about a year or two, but ultimately the people wake up and they will turn on their tormentors. And I think that's starting to happen in New York, in California, in Michigan. Uh, I think we're going to see that phenomenon increase uh, uh, across the country. And 2022 is going to be a referendum on the lockdown left. You know what? I hope that California makes New York jealous by actually recalling their governor and showing the power of the ballot initiative. Congressman McClintock, thank you so much. My pleasure, Kennedy. Thanks for having me.